In worldwide, every six seconds someone dies because of stroke. Every second someone suffers stroke in the world. This is a nightmare because if we think uh, China, India, with a huge population, they have a lot of stroke. Same applies Africa, South America, and not too much resources for the care. But where you have the doctor, where you have a nurse and physiotherapist, you already have the core of the stroke team. Our hospital here in Helsinki has at the moment the world record in providing the treatment of stroke thrombolysis as fast as possible. We are able to do that in 20 minutes. On average, uh, centers around the world would be around 80 minutes, 70 to 80 minutes. Now, why are we so quick? There's no rocket science there. It's all pretty simple. One of the key things was that we were able to convince uh, radiologic that the best CT needs to be transferred inside our emergency room. So instead of waiting elevators, because it was one floor down, it's there just 20 meters from the door, uh, and that saved a lot of time. We, we just try to do everything we can before uh, the patient arrives. So basically, uh, we get through all the paperwork, we pre-order the tests, we pre-order the imaging, we prepare, and when the pa once the patient arrives, we try to do only the bare minimum. So we go directly into the CT on an ambulance stretcher, lift the patient from the ambulance stretcher onto the CT table, quickly evaluate the, a physical evaluation of the patient, and then image and start the treatment on the CT table. So that's basically the nutshell of it. You see immediately if there's a bleed, and you see if there's an aneurysm, or if the bleeding, you may see the spot sign, or the breaking vessel which are leaking the construct medium in the brain tissue. So you, you know what you are treating. And that makes a difference, but uh, it took about 10, 12 years to be as fast as we are now, step by step, improving the chain of recovery, starting from emergency call center, paramedics, transportation and at our emergency room, fast diagnostic and treatment. Uh, I did a, a one and a half year fellowship in Melbourne uh, recently uh, and uh, the first thing I did was uh, a look at their data, how quick were they at delivering the thrombolysis service. And their median time was around 60 minutes. I suggested that some of the things that we had done in Helsinki could also be uh, utilized there. Slimmer, and uh, no. the door to needle time dropped to 25 minutes uh, in just uh, four months uh, once we've initiated the new protocol. And uh, that was really amazing, that was really quick. Uh, uh, that's the second best in the world at the moment uh, in a very short period of time. So that was really convincing to show that uh, the uh, uh, process is rapidly implementable elsewhere also, with no costs at all. We have about 2,000 stroke per year, about 6,000 admission at the emergency room. So I'll calculate the cost of them. So uh, the cost of uh, acute stroke of those 2,000 patients was that year uh, 11.3 million euros. But I say chronic institutional care 14.4 million euros, because one year in chronic institutional care in Helsinki is about 100,000 euros. So preventing chronic institutional care, I save 3.4 million euros more than I, let's say, spent for the acute care. And imaging is the key for this. Thank you.